Hello? Hello. Uh, is this Donna Strickland? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Adam Smith calling from NobelPrize.org, the official website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. First of all, congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you very much. Um, what was your immediate thought on hearing the news? Well, obviously, like I think like many people have said, we wondered if it was a prank. But then I knew it was the right day, and it would have been a cruel prank. But <laughs> that is what I was thinking. <laughs> Were you sleeping when the call came? Yes, it's five in the morning. It's um, it's fairly amazing. I don't know if there's another case of somebody being awarded a Nobel Prize for their very first scientific paper. Um, that's an extreme. No, I don't know that. I. <laughs> 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 no, I know. It's I. I sort of feel like I just lucked into this whole thing. I have to say that. Well, how how lucky? Obviously, I, obviously, I did luck into the whole thing. <laughs> You you must have been a naturally gifted experimentalist. Where did it come from, do you think, gift? Uh, but I, I don't know. I mean, it was um, it, it was just a fun thing to do, and so I enjoyed putting many hours into it. It, it is the one time in my life that I worked very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and But, you know, it, it was a fun time in the field of short pulse lasers, and it was a fun group to be in, and I don't know. So you, I put in the long hours, and it was, it was fun most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the classic vision of the experimental physicist, sort of tinkering around in the lab. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, um, you are the first female laureate for 55 years. Yes, and I'm Gabe Admire. I couldn't, I couldn't think of her name. That's right. That's Marie right. Curie, everybody comes tonight, but I, I was thinking, oh, I even quoted her. I cited her work in my thesis. Right. <laughs> That's a nice connection. Yes. Um, what message do you think it sends to people? I, I don't know how to answer that because I'm, I'm not a woman who's been, you know, looking at all of these prizes thinking, why isn't there a woman? I, I sort of haven't thought like that, but I, I know a lot of people... I guess, do look at that. Um, I don't know. I, I hope... I mean, I certainly tell the Maria Gabert Meyer story, and I'm happier that life isn't like that. So I'm glad there were trailblazers like her and Marie mm. Curie. That's right, because, because she, 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 didn't, she didn't get to have a paid job for the longest time, right? She didn't yeah. really get to be recognized as a scientist, even though, you know, she was doing incredible work, right? I think she won hers in, in the 50s, or, it was right? Six, and yet... 63, she was awarded. 63. The and, and the work I cite for her started the whole field of multi-photon ionization, which was the first thing that art laser was used for and in my thesis. And, and that work was done in 1939. It's not what she won the Nobel Prize for, but again, it totally changed what could be done, right? Yes. And you just think, how can you go 20, more than 20 years, you know? I don't know. That, that one was sort of surprised, not to get a Nobel Prize, but just to even be recognized as a scientist. Yes. So, so I think things have totally changed, so I think it, it will come around and change. Or yeah, yeah. I suppose one thing that is going to happen is that you're going to be very much in demand. How do you feel about that? Yes, I'm a little scared about that. Because I was talking to a previous uh, Nobel Prize winner a few years back, and, <laughs> you know, he told me how he flew 100,000 miles, you know. Mm. And scientists don't even get to fly first class, so that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Like in a year, like, you know, and it's like, oh, my goodness, that's a lot, yeah. you know, so well, I don't know. Well, maybe put in your bid early, <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> first of all. Maybe. Yeah, well, anyway, I guess. I'm, I'm not sounding like a Nobel Prize winner at this point, I realize. I think you sound, I think you sound exactly like a Nobel Prize winner at this point. This is, um, this is a pretty surprising point to be at. I mean, for anybody, it's, it's a, you only heard just a few minutes ago, so... Um, let me ask just very briefly about ultrafast lasers. What's your favorite example of what they can do? Oh, okay. Well, right now I've, I've taken over doing the undergraduate labs and I'm trying to think of, you know, what was the most exciting thing for me to see, okay? <laughs> yeah. So you're probably thinking bigger things. I just think white light generation is just one of these remarkable things to see and actually, you know, one color of light goes into just water or any clear anything and out comes all the colors of the rainbow when the pulses are short and intense enough. And, and it's just remarkable to sit there and go, what, where do all those colors come from? Mm. And it's not that we don't understand that in science, but it's one of those things that is just really cool to see. 
well, it was it was good enough for Newton, if you see what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but it's not like, yeah, it's different than Newton seeing all the colors that are in white light. We actually just start with a very narrow bandwidth and, and create all of those colors through the nonlinear interaction with the medium. Gosh, that is, ma so, that is magical, yes. It is magical, and, you know, it took many years uh, for scientists to even figure out what was going on, which is also always a fun, you know, mm -hmm. um, thing for scientists to do. That's what we like to do is puzzle as to why something is working. Um, but, it, you know, well, it's, uh, it's useful. White light generation is used also everywhere. So, But w as you say, what a wonderful demonstration of what this prize is all about, uh, laser, m light and matter interaction. So. That's right. Yeah. Well, goodness. Um, well, we, we, we'll learn a lot more about all this when you come to Stockholm in December. We very much look forward to welcoming you. Well, thank you very much. It, it, it's, it's a joy to speak with you, and I very much look forward to meeting you um, in December. Th Thank you, and I certainly look forward to getting there. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with what will undoubtedly be a very busy day. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay.